Hello everyone and welcome. Let's start idle a review of Kitten's Game this time. So Kitten's Game is another one of those idle games that just sits in your browser so you don't need to download it or anything. It just sits there in your browser doing stuff when it's in focus. And what this game basically is, is it's one of these sort of idle games that start out very simple. You're just a cat in a catnip forest. You gather catnip and then you plant the catnip in a catnip field and then you generate more catnip so you can turn the catnip into wood and then with the wood you build stuff and then it just keeps going you gather more kittens by building like huts and then you give them like jobs like woodcutter or farmer to gather more stuff for you and it just keeps ramping up and up and up and up and after like two weeks or so of playtime, this is what it looks like. You have a ton of stuff all over the place with a ton of different tabs. There's stuff going on everywhere and you have to manage all of it. So saying that, it sounds pretty cool, but I'm gonna lay it down right away. This game is really slow, really slow. This is probably the slowest idle game I've ever played. And I've played I Like to Rule the Gods and that one was slow, but this one is even slower. So, to put it into perspective, I played this game for about, well actually multiple months, but actual game time was maybe like two weeks of actually, like, 14 days of, let's say, about two or three hours of actually sitting here doing stuff, which is a fair amount of playtime for just an idle game, and then it was also just sitting in the background for a long time, but anyway, to put that into perspective, I haven't reset the game once, and resetting would give me three karma points, which is fuck all. So even after two weeks, I'm not even anywhere close, not even anywhere in the ballpark of even being able to reset. And I've also only gone through like, maybe like half the content? Maybe like half the content and not even a reset in? After like two weeks of playing time? That's, that's, that's really fucking slow actually. So let's just, let's just start by going over how this game works if we go into more details. So you have a lot of different resources that you're gonna start gathering, starting with catnip, wood, minerals, these are your three basic ones that you gather very very early in the game and you also get three jobs to gather them for you, the woodcutter, the farmer, the miner. And then your next step is usually gonna be trying to get some iron. So you get to these, uh, where is it here? The the smelters and this is this is your first building that basically you have to turn on so I have 36 smelters and all of them are turned on I can turn some of them off if I want to and what they do is they take a bunch of wood and minerals each second and they convert it into iron and because I have some upgrades some coal and gold as well then you use some iron you get some coal later on as well and you can turn that using a workshop into steel which is probably the most valuable resource uh, that I've seen so far and I don't want to go too much into how it goes from there but this is usually how the basics gain and from there there's many different branches that go off in all different directions and later on you're gonna get some oil as well you can turn that oil into titanium which is like the next tier of awesome stuff and then you also ha and that's that's your production pretty much Apart from your production, you also have some other buildings that are like quality of life, I'd say, or give you various bonuses that are in sort of their own category. For example, you might have noticed that uh, there's a lot of rare astron astronomical events occurring all the time. And that's because I, well, also they occur naturally, uh, but uh, you get them way more often by building like an observatory. And basically, if you have a rare astron astronomical event, you can click a button that appears here and you just get a bunch of science. And science is yet another resource that you use for science, so more on that later. Then you can also build a ton of uh, buildings that make it so you can store more of each resource. You can get uh, buildings that increase your happiness. And happiness is pretty much just a modifier for, well, how happy your kittens are and how much the stuff they produce. They produce more um, more resources if they're more happy, but they also require more catnip to live. And yeah, if you ever reach zero catnip and are losing on catnip, which is possible if you have a climate that is very cold 
and during cold climate you lose catnip and it can happen or not actually you lose catnip but rather your cats need more catnip per second because each cat needs catnip per second to survive and yeah your cats can die but that usually doesn't happen after one uh, like day of game time because after that you've got so much production that you're never ever going into the cat miners again. So yeah, that can happen as well, but only during the start really. The start is also really slow. Then you also have another system which ties into the whole religion thing. And then you also have another building that allows you to craft stuff. And then you can also trade stuff, so you can see that these buildings like unlock new ways of interacting with the game. So the longer the game goes, the more different tabs are going to appear up here that allow you to do different stuff. So not only do you, are you going to have jobs, you're also going to be able to research stuff, and research just unlocks new stuff. So you can unlock new stuff via research. You can use the workshop to craft stuff. Crafting is usually just taking a bunch of resources and turning it into other resources. For example, let's take something interesting like steel, which takes 100 iron and 100 coal to turn it into steel. And how much steel you get depends on your level of workshop that you have over here. What that also allows you to do is you get some one-time upgrades that just make a bunch of stuff that you have better. It doesn't unlock new stuff, but it stuff that you have becomes more awesome and that's good. You can also trade with other factions. So these factions also have like friendly or neutral hostile, like how they like you. That's not too important other than you just gain less of the resources that it says that you get. But you can offset that by getting certain stuff. There's a lot of depth to this. There's a ton of depth so I don't want to go too much into depth here. So yeah, you can trade with a bunch of stuff. And for this you need cat power. Now cat power is created through a job called the hunter and through our most game what the hunter does is with the cat power that the hunter creates you can send out hunters. If you send out hunters you gain furs and ivory and furs and ivory just make it so you have more happiness as long as you have them. But you can see they decay over time. So you have to keep sending out hunters stuff like that. Yeah more stuff going on over there as well so yeah but you can also use the cat power to send out caravans to trade and stuff you can also use religion system basically how religion works is you accumulate faith over time and you can bank that faith in here you increase your total faith and depending on your total faith you unlock new faith upgrades and then you can bank some faith in those faith upgrades as well to unlock them which is pretty cool and then there's also a bunch of achievements so yeah after two weeks of playing time i got a ton of achievements i got this one for just getting a unicorn which happens on like the first day of gaming probably because it's just a random drop from sending hunters and then you just randomly get a unicorn and yeah that's that Whoop whoop de doo but yeah there's a, there's a ton of stuff missing here and well, obviously some stats times played in hours i think this is the time that it was actually in focus I'm going to talk about what I mean with that later, but this time is a lot lower than the time I've actually spent on this. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over that a little bit later. So I think that's about it. Yeah, you also have the reset button here, and this is the offline functionality. Basically, when you're offline, you don't actually get more production. What happens is when the game is offline, you just gain a bunch of these temporal flux units and then you can turn in those temporal flux units to speed up the game and then the game works a bit faster but it's not not too big of a deal especially since it's just 10 minutes or 50 percent more speed which is pretty much nothing so yeah it's that's pretty pointless so offline is pretty much almost unexist uh, inexistent in this game yeah this is what this game mostly is about obviously there's a ton more depth to it in all of the details how everything works together with each other and obviously there's also a lot more to unlock yet so i can already tell tell you that if you want to look for a game that really it might take a really really long time but you can sink so much time into it like so much time. this game is not gonna run out of content in the foreseeable future once you start playing this game so yeah that's maybe something that you're interested in but fair warning this game is really really slow really slow. Don't expect to sit here doing stuff and actually have stuff happen because usually you just have this game running and then you play something in your 3DS or something. But you might say like, oh can't I just have the game up here and then 
have something else? Like maybe play Trims in the meantime? No! Not quite. Because, by the way, Trims, I've uh, talked about this game in one of my first Let's Talk Idols, but that's for a different... That's... that's that happened like months ago. Anyway. So yeah, you might be like, can I just do something else? And the answer is not, not quite. Because this game has has one really big flaw. So that the fact that it's really slow, I can forgive if it at least worked correctly in the background. The problem is though, and I've gone through the options, it, I I tried a bunch of different stuff in here. Nah, it doesn't quite doesn't quite work. Doesn't quite work. Um yeah, it's this stuff. This does this didn't work. Um, at least for me. Maybe it works for you, so you can try if it works for you. I tried it on Firefox, it didn't quite work, but yeah. Uh, for the most part, this game does not work correctly when it's in the background and not in focus, so it tends to slow down. Which means that if you're doing something else, like let's say I'm doing stuff on trims, woo, then this game is only working with like, what is it, like a tenth of the speed or something? So, you will have to sit here doing this, but once again, maybe you can try using the perker for you. Maybe it works for you, in which case this is a moot point, but just fair warning that it might not work, and then you actually have to sit here looking at this screen for it to actually do stuff correctly. And like I said, the offline functionality, pretty much inexistent, so that doesn't really help you out at all. Also, something to note is that if you're a perfectionist, this game, or have like some OCD, this game is maybe not the best. Because you can see that a ton of my, if, if the number here is yellow, it means that it's close or at the limit of what I can store. So you're gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm reaching the limit of what I can store. I need to get better storage, I need to use this stuff for something. And in a lot of cases you can go and use that stuff for something like that. See, I have a lot of culture doing stuff on here that uses culture, bam. Not on culture cap anymore, isn't that nice? But that might not always be desirable. Sometimes you need to you you don't want to use a certain uh, resource for something, or you can't quite in, uh, increase your storage capabilities, or you really need a shit ton of coal. I can tell you something: you really always need a ton of coal because coal is your bottleneck for steel. So your iron that you also need for steel is gonna inc is gonna go up and up and up, and you're really trying to get coal and meanwhile your iron is just sitting there doing absolutely fuck all because you can't really do anything good with your iron other than turning into plates or something but you also have a ton of and it's just sitting there doing nothing so yeah you, you they're not really always able to use all the resources that you have so that might be something that might get on your nerves sometimes but yeah i guess you can deal with it it's, it's not too bad it's not too bad so yeah all in all that's the kittens game and I've put a link to Kitten's game in the description. So, yeah, just to recap everything, very slow game, but a very, a very deep depth, very big depth, whatever. It's quite deep, it has a ton of content to it, you can sink a ton of time into it, but unless the web worker doesn't work for you, you're gonna have to look at it and have it keep in focus to, cor to work correctly. Um, but if, if you get the web, web, web worker to work correctly and you don't mind th that the game is that slow, you can, you can find something here that will keep you occupied for a very, very long time. Which you might enjoy, but keep in mind that you might want to do something productive every now and then. I mean, idle games are not everything, just saying. Anyway, that was it for me and Kitten's game. I've been the Rosie LM. See you guys next time.